hello everyone uh, welcome back to this another new tutorial uh, in this one i just want to show you how you can add a texture detail to your 3d render using the blender position pass last time i did the live stream of this shot so let me just quickly show you the shot if you guys remember if you watch my previous last two stream in that uh, we come this shot live there are some one frame issue here let's ignore that one but this is the shot and we come this shot so this is the output from the live stream you can see there are uh, the deep focus is very strong but that is good actually it is matching with the plate so this is a plate and this is the comp so we try to match with the plate but there are still a lot of things we need to refine it but as of now this is the output so let's quickly see how we can add a texture detail i already added few detail let me just show you if i view from this side if i zoom in here you can see in this part if i just turn off uh, this texture detail from this side texture data on this wall you can see it's pretty good so uh, this thing we get from the render itself but in this side also i added these textures this one is looking pretty good i guess so the idea is to show you the use case of the position pass coming from the blender uh, because why especially for the blender because uh, this render is coming from the blender and uh, there are few uh, changes you need to do in order to use the position pass because the axis is different in blender so we need to uh, uh, switch channels to get the proper you know position pass so that we can use to you know project the texture on this uh, render all right uh, so i already did this setup uh, let me just quickly show you one more time so here are i'm using the p st map because uh, basically we are converting position pass into st map so the idea is uh, let me just take the data pass so we have the data pass and let me take that so in this one uh, we have the position pass and normal pass and everything let me just go to the rgb and let's do the shuffle we don't need to do that but in this case we need to do because uh, this is a blender uh, once you get that uh, we don't need to shuffle out the channel what you can do you can go to this uh, this b uh, in the second line and you can select your position pass and here you can also select your same position pass okay this one so if you connect this one now we, have, we did nothing what we need to do if i just view the position pass uh, the z is up if i press uh, red green and blue right <laughs> the channels are not correct so we need to uh, switch the channels so how you can do that it's pretty simple uh, all you need to do we just need to use the y into x and z into y you can remove this one so uh, now uh, we have this kind of thing now if i press red green and blue blue is the z so that's why it's not visible because it's a negative value that's why so what we can do we can use my tool the position to uv if i just press and position to uv if i connect this one like this and let's switch this to rgba first thing we need to tell this the actual position pass name so this is now referring to p we don't have p we have this position so i'm selecting this and by default you can see we get this so we have this position icon you can, if i just move this one somewhere here and you can see it's creating a st map so because position path have those all the details so we get this proper estimate for example for this house uh, let me just place it here so now i can get uh, red green blue we just need red and green in the estimate which is just two channels and we can get this so we can scale from here you can see the blue also it's giving you all three so we are just scaling from here you can see i created a few stamps here so let's create here let's press f8 and st map input so i did that and uh now this is done so this is our um st map now you can use this one let's place this one here somewhere i will just make a uh, space here so we can just all right so i created a space let's place this one here and to use the texture i have a few textures here so let me use one of those textures so i this texture i already use so let me just grab this one and let's use this texture so in order to apply a texture we need we have this st map we need a st map node to apply that so you can use this st map the st map transform you can just connect this one and this will be your st map and in this one let's quickly change uh, the uv channel to rgb now you can see projecting the texture but it's also stretching so in order to fix we just need to add a crop here okay so you can see now we are adding a crop and it's removing this stretching thing one more thing we need to change the color space of this uh, texture by the word is coming matte painting and i downloaded this from the mega scan so you can download all these textures free so just click on the raw and you get the actual texture color so now we can just you know over this one with our diffuse color because this is uh, this just a texture so we are placing here but now you can see the position is wrong i want texture in this part so what i can do i can go my setup open this thing and i can just move this one projecting this entire texture i can reduce the size is basically scaling this uh, texture let's place this texture here on this top so you can see it's properly projecting based on the position pass so we can apply this uh let me just place this one 
something like this i can just uh, use the i will just steal it from here so you can create a mat for that top part let's delete this and let's add a crypto mat uh, take a mat and then we can do a mask so we just need to keep on the top part so i can use this like this and i can do a mask and then you can over this one and if i see at the end you will see the texture obviously this is not exactly what you want now you can play around with the texture i can go here and just reduce this actually i can reduce the gamma so i can get this right and then i can do the amount like this so you can see something like this you can add a keyer node so this thing have alpha now so now you can see now it will behave correctly so uh, i can just do this so you can use this one like this so let me just check the alpha we need a proper black and white alpha so for that i will just crush this one like this you can make a pure black and white map and then if i over this one you can see we can only get this texture and nothing else right so this is exactly what we want and then if i see at the end we have this white texture obviously it's looking way too strong so what can what i can do i can just reduce this little bit of mix and we have this right so that's how i added these uh, textures in the wall and all the textures here so let me just show, show you the setup so i use a grade and this uh, over mode so in the first one you can see i did a similar thing we have the texture projecting it we have the alpha similarly the second texture in this side creating mats and then i'm using this one as a in the grid mask and in the second one i'm getting this texture similarly doing st map here i'm just switching the keeping all alpha into rgb and doing some grading just reducing the multiplier mask and this is i'm just simply overing it so you get this so you can see i applied here that's it the idea and then you can see at the end we have this texture now we have the texture on the top if i off this one you can see this is the texture we added you can also do multiply so if i disable this and if i do the multiply operation and if i just use alpha masking now you have the dark areas i think this is looking pretty good and then you can go here and can reduce the intensity this is the texture you have on the top so that's it make sure to download this portion to uv we will see you in a very next one have a great day